All right, Lindsay, recent interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve were supposed to cool off the housing market with higher costs on mortgages. But in a surprising twist, a 30-year fixed loan for a home fell below 5%, only to creep back up to 5.2% yesterday. Now it's at a 56 So what are we supposed to make of this roller coaster in mortgage rates? Joining us now is Rogers Healy, CEO and owner of Rogers Healy & Associates Real Estate, to help us understand what is going on here. I'm going to be honest, I'm just trying to keep up. I'm trying to learn about this. Um, what What is happening here? <laughs> I, I think we all just need to take a day off. Let's I just know. go and, and <laughs> just maybe pour some mimosas. But yeah, I mean, look, it, it, it's adjusting. And I, I have a lot of people in my life that are purposely a lot smarter than me. And I remember one of the guys I talked to a few weeks ago told me that when the Fed increases interest rates, that's not to kill things. It's just to slow things down. And I think that when you have a two-year run like we had from March of 20, really actually more than two years, to probably June of 22, you know, things had to stabilize. And so when the, you know, when the Fed increases interest rates, it's really trying to get things back to normal, which who knows what normal is at, at this point. So, yeah, it, it, it's been crazy. But I think that people that are in the real estate world and people that are trying to transact will eventually appreciate the fact that we're going to have some some sign of stability ahead. So given these fluctuations in the mortgage rates, what would you say to someone who is on the market to buy a, a new home and looking to pull the trigger? Should they or should they not right now? Should they wait or what? Do it, you know, and I, and I think that, you know, we, we all have this kind of PTSD from 10, 12 years ago when the real estate market was, you know, public enemy number one. And we saw movies like The Big Short and we had people that, you know, lost kind of everything. But what happened now is this is not real estate's fault. We have people through the pandemic that went and changed everything about their trends, everything about their priorities, and they wanted to be home, and then they wanted to go and maybe get married. And on top of that, we have millennials that are, you know, driving the market unlike any other demographic we've ever seen in the history of real estate. So I, I would encourage you all to actually make a move and transact. And if you can get in something, have the mindset you're not going to stay there forever. And I think that's another part of real estate that's a really – misconceived notion is that you don't live in a house for the most part for the rest of your life. So get in, get into the interest rate at 5.2, 5.6%. If a year from now, the interest rates reduced to four and a half percent refinance, but start building equity. And you have to realize that the people that we blame for the real estate mess for the past 10 years are the ones that are actually driving it. And it goes back to millennials and baby boomers, people that are retiring at a historic pace and turning 40 at a historic pace. They're the ones that need more space. So, you know, I would encourage you all to make a move, lock in a rate, and then obviously play the game. And the saying is you date the rate, but you are you married the house and you date the rate. So just kind of keep, you know, buying your chips and see what happens. That is a good really good way to put that. that. Yeah, I know. Right. I'm going to jot that down and tell my husband <laughs> that later. Uh, because this is something that we're going through now just as prospective buyers in the next year or so, uh, kind of keeping our eyes on this. Um, and this is something that I can relate to here. Rent, in some cases, are as much and sometimes even more than a mortgage payment. Uh, I think that's the frustrating part for me right now personally. Uh, but how does that impact yeah. the market? I, I think it's going to be – I think rents are actually going to be – the, a, a big reason people go in and purchase, like you were saying. And a lot of these people, they went and imagine if retail was $10 a foot two years ago. And all of a sudden, retail changes to $15 a foot for land, right? In places like Dallas, $100 per foot. These people that are buying land are going to build on that land with the intention to actually make money, which means they have to go and charge historically higher rent rates than ever before. So these people that were going to go and maybe rent a place are going to maybe move to the suburbs and they're going to purchase their first home. So I, I do think it's going to shift real estate where up until, you know, a year or two ago, the, the uh, rule has always been location. But I really do think historic, you know, historically that stuff is going to change to where the rule is going to be affordability. So I do think rent increases as across the country. They're reaching $2 a foot on average, which is insane. But that's going to go and change the game for people wanting to purchase as well. So bottom line here, just 10 seconds, Rogers, uh, now is the time to buy, get in on that equity game? Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, if you can, right? And I do think that there's a, you know, there's a peace of mind with owning real estate, but, you know, you're not necessarily always paying someone else's mortgage. But if you've got the cash down and you've got the ability to go and make some adjustments to a property, yes, I would encourage you to do it, but don't feel like you have to live there forever. All right. Good advice there. Rogers Healy, CEO and owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. Always good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you.